Yo, what it do, what it does, it's your main man Bugs. You're probably wondering right now, who the f is this guy? And why am I watching this? Well, my friends, I would be delighted to answer those two questions. Allow myself to introduce myself. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. I'm the hardest working, starving artist to ever make the world a better place before I go extinct. The name is Moki Wish, also known as Chief Moki Wish. I'm a creature. Coming to you live and direct from the finest city in the West. Sunny and Sandy. Southeast, they go. San Diego, Baja California, Mexico. I'd like to welcome you to your first taste of the fix. By yours truly, the one and only, and only. Call me Chief Mochi At this point, you're like, okay, I don't want to hear it anymore. And that's okay, because it's a free country, right? Wrong. It's kind of free, but uh, you know. This is, and has got to be the most remarkable, strangest, most confusing time in modern history. So, I'm going to do this not as a reporter, a journalist, conspiracy theorist, fear monger, or spreader of misinformation. I'm doing this for selfish reasons, obviously. Come on, we all do everything for our own selfish reasons. Look, obviously I'm trying to push my brand, which if you don't know, you probably don't, call it The Lick Inc. Copyrighted. Yes, that's right. See, I'm just like you. Ordinary working class, bit of insanity. Only difference is I managed to maintain my creative process while balancing the responsibilities of adulting. Look, basically I'm doing this because I have this crazy feeling that there's people out there that feel the same as I do. In this age where so much info is at the very fingertips of our society and it's so hard to decipher the truth from fiction i mean it's damn near impossible it really sucks that i even have to do this that i even have to question what's being reported but here we are i like to consider myself a healthy skeptic and a deep thinker it's a gift and it's a curse but it's a gift that i can no longer be selfish with must allow somebody if not everybody into this world of deep thinking so regardless of your reasons this is the fix of deep thinking aside from being confused and utterly baffled at times by everything that's going on i feel like a loner it's not meant to be some sort of cry for help or you know ask for your empathy this is how i feel and that's what i do every day I'm alive, in my music, everyday combos, etc., etc. I put things into perspective in a way that shouldn't come off offensive, but of course everybody's different. I'm not trying to sugarcoat, appeal to one group or another. I'm just trying to put things in a way that everyone can comprehend on a basic human intellectual manner. I just want to make this very clear. I'm not doing this for a particular political party left wing, right wing, or as our fearless commander in tweets likes to call them radical left or fake news. This is my opinion, my thoughts, my questions, and my research. Nobody should be held accountable for the things I say or do in my music or on this channel except for me. Enough with the introductions, let's get into this hot topic. It's been just chomping away, chomping away in my brain. All right, so with everybody having so much time on their hands lately, there's been a plethora of prophets, or in some cases, people that were being silenced and they came to surface. And like I said before, I'm a healthy skeptic. I take the information that's presented, I break it down into logic and bias. 
I never rule out the fact that I could be wrong. Constantly looking for proof. Sometimes that backfires and I end up with even more questions. And that is why the topic is zero point energy. Quantum vacuum energy. I know some of you are like, what the is that? <laughs> so anyways, so there's this doctor by the name of Dr. Stephen Greer. You might have heard of him. You might have heard him speak or watch his videos on YouTube. This dude has thrown a wrench in my logical thinking because what he's saying is like if, if even a little bit is true then what the f are we doing yo what are we doing Who, who's gonna end up benefiting from this so check it out let me let me go back let me throw it way back okay in the late 1800s early 1900s there was this engineer and physicist by the name of Nikolai Tesla you might have heard of him. I'm not talking about the car or Elon Musk. I'm talking about Dr. Nikolai Tesla. This dude was profoundly ahead of his time. And that's just saying the bare minimum. Basically the reason why we have all this technology, he's the very reason why we have access to this neat thing called alternating current. Also known as AC, also known as a worldwide electrical system. Nikolai Tesla was born in 1856 in Croatia. He was well known, he was respected, and he was famous for his breakthroughs. He just found it difficult to translate his inventions into a long time financial success. That kind of separates creative from the wealthy but anyways funny enough one of his first bosses was then later turned his chief rival knew exactly how to do such a thing i'm talking about thomas edison the master of extortion so in about 1884 after working a couple years in a dc power plant in paris one of edison's companies he decided to immigrate to the united states Immigrants are people too. Tesla made it to New York and he got a job at Edison's Manhattan headquarters. After about a year of impressing Edison with his ingenuity, Edison told Tesla, oh, let me say it like Edison would. I'll pay you $50,000 for an improvement design on my DC dynamos. Tesla was like, 50 G's? I'm on it. But after a few months, Tesla presented the solution and asked for his money. Edison, he just laughed. He laughed at Tesla and he said, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. <laughs> Didn't give him Tesla said, chuck the deuces up. Hold on, let that truck pass by. Okay, you done? All right, cool, thank you. About 1888, when his research really started to make breakthroughs, I mean, this dude, he made all kinds of sh he even came up with the design for an ac motor when he was just taking a walk down a dirt road he had to stop and draw it in the dirt so that he wouldn't lose his idea so anyways somehow in 1895 tesla's lab in new york was burnt down and destroyed tons of his notes and equipment that he put so much work into that pretty much broke him for a few years. So he moved to Colorado and started his own lab out there, secluded. Uh, he finally got some financial backing from another person of interest, uh, JP Morgan. He, he began building a global communication network centralized around a giant tower at Wardenclyffe in Long Island. And around this time, it really got interesting for uh, Dr. Tesla. I really had to go in and like find this discovery of this little thing called zero point energy and what zero point energy is referring to is random quantum fluctuations of the electromagnetic force fields that are present in the vacuum in other words an empty vacuum is actually a cauldron of energy basically tesla figured out a way to harness energy through the vacuum of space effectively ruling out the need for fossil fuels and other natural resources. So he made a car then 
that ran on this quantum vacuum energy. But he drove it to New York to JP Morgan and presented it to him. They had a like six foot antenna on the back of it. JP Morgan took a look and said, I can't put a meter on it. I don't want it. From my point of view, that seems to be where Tesla started a uh, downward spiral. Imagine, you come up with something so profoundly great for humanity and the person that's supposed to back you up tells you that it's trash. I mean, shit happens to me all the time when I make music. It's like I put so much heart, time, and energy into it and I show somebody and they're like, Oh, it needs this or it needs that. And it's like, this. you try doing this then. I don't, I'm not always looking for notes. Sometimes I just need somebody to encourage me. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. Just peep the videos out and you be the judge yourself, but keep it to yourself. Cause I don't need notes, okay? It's been like 20 years now and I've been doing this Well, I'm pretty sure I heard it before. But anyways, ah, I feel Tesla. I feel him, man, because he was just trying to make the world a better place. And he did. He was denied the privilege to save the world. Fast forward to the present day. There's this dude named Dr. Stephen Greer. Doesn't mean believe everything that you see because like I said, you gotta be a healthy skeptic. You gotta just know what's unbelievable probably shouldn't be believed. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's, a, it's a fine line. It's a fine line, y'all. Healthy meltdown in three, two, one. On that note, wear a f***ing mask if you're in public. I'm not talking about wearing a f***ing mask while you're sitting in your garage recording the f***ing video. I'm talking about if you're going to the f***ing store, wear a f***ing mask, please. I want to go back to normal f***ing life too, alright? It's not a f***ing threat to our freedom, it's a f***ing threat to our lives. But anyways. Who came okay, first, first, the sheep or the trunk? Like I was saying, in a nutshell, the doctor claims that this form of energy that Tesla discovered is currently and has been for a while understood. He's talking about 1954 and a professor named Hendrik Casimir. It's called the Casimir effect. And what he gets into is gravity control and the use of flying vehicles. Kind of like the Jetsons. Remember that? I know it sounds far-fetched, man, but he claims that this technology is available, but it's not available to the public because it would make fossil fuels obsolete, which in turn would make a bunch of rich people go out of business and possibly save the fragile biosphere that is our Earth. And our kids would be saved from global warming and radiation. While most of us Americans are bickering about who's going to destroy the United States economy and the world for that matter, there's this technology out there that would benefit the planet and our very existence. The planet that we are leaving to our kids to inherit, but nobody's saying anything about it could all be some kooky ass crazy far out gnarly theory but the way it's presented by Dr. Greer I just I can't ignore it especially with recent information that was given to us about UFOs and spacecraft from the Pentagon point is what is freedom and how much of it is too much that's what I'm trying to figure out right now all this pollution and destruction natural resources is unnecessary i mean what good is money if there's no planet to use it <laughs> something else that coincides with this topic is uh ancient civilizations and the messages they left behind and how they just vanished like those are just my thoughts opinions questions You'll probably hear about it in a song, maybe someday, who knows. By the way, check out my videos and check me out on SoundCloud, Amazon, uh, Spotify, iTunes, whatever you want. 
check out the links they're all right there in the description if you have any comments thoughts opinions questions that maybe we can answer mine or we can answer them together well then feel free to join the combo any suggestions you have something you want me to look into and we can talk about and see what i come up with put the word out that skepticism is good for humanity in a healthy moderation that's what i'm trying to accomplish see how much freedom of speech i'm granted and push my brand of course you know chief monkey leash aka the lick inc aka soy un vago buenos dias stay safe out there fellow earthlings ending transition this device will self-destruct in five four three two As a spirit to guide you when things look dim I'll be the wind beneath your wings I'll be that feeling that you get when you